All right, I just bought this dumper here, so I did. I'll just show you his around it here. I just bought a wee cheap one, so I did. It's a uh, air-cooled diesel. And you use a hand crank to store it. Yeah, this seat. The fella I bought it off, give me that other seat there. It's a bit better. The bottom of it's bad like it's like a suspension seat. Whereas that one there is real hard to sit on. But I was thinking about just taking this off and then maybe just keeping a pillow or a cushion or something in the workshop. Just throw it on every time I go to use it. But that's it. Yeah, I'll start it up here and take it off the trailer and bring it into the workshop. It also came with this uh, pole here. The fella who bought it off made this up. So it bolts on to the bucket and then you can use it to lift stuff. It has like a, a hook on the end of it. But as I say, I'll pull it off the trailer here and bring it into the workshop and get a better look at it. So that's it, it's a, an air-cooled air engine, diesel, it's like the same engine that you would find in a lot of old dumpers in the UK. I don't know about America if you have the same type of engine, but they're really reliable these engines uh, and easy to work on. There's no starter motor or anything on it, it's just a hand crank. The reason I'm I bought this here is when I go to build the house, dig the footings for the house, I need some way to transport the, all the soil up on the other end of the, my site. I can't really pile it up because it'll be in the way of everything. I was using a, a digger and a trailer to move soil and stones about 
just hooking the a trailer onto the, the shovel at the front, uh, or the blade, some people call it. I just put a, a wee tow bar hitch on it, but I was thinking the drive motors were heating up on it a lot, tracking back and forth and carrying all that weight. So I just said to buy this here. I bought it for cheap off Facebook Marketplace. So once the ground dries out, I'll show you a picture. I just started digging a wee hole and it filled up with water. Or sorry, the next day it started raining, then it filled up with water. So once the dry weather comes in, I can uh, start digging it all again. There's a lot of digging to do out of it. So that's the reason I bought this, as I say. So what I'm going to do today, hopefully, is put a different seat on it. And just have a wee look around. The brakes. <coughs> the brakes need a wee bit of attention too, because when it's driving it in the fellow's yard, it starts seizing up. Uh, I don't know if it needs a new brake master cylinder or what it needs, but see if I can come up with a way of fixing the brakes. I thought it actually was the handbrake that was sticking. I took it off and it was still doing it. And then I just took the wee bleeding nipples off and it freed it up. So the brakes are locking up somewhere. So I'll have a look at that, that too. And then that's really all really it needs. It has engine oil and all in it. And you just put diesel in it, not have much to it, so there's not. But we get stuck in here anyway and take this seat off. I'll start it up here and tip it up so I can get access to the, the brakes. Handbrake was making it stick, took it off, drew it, it was still sticking. So I loosened these for the brakes. That's brake fluid coming out of them. And then she freed up and away she went. So I don't know what is going on with it. Maybe grind these down and just use a pillow like this or something. And then every time I go to use it, or every time I finish to use it, just put that away. Yeah, that's a lot better. You can still reach everything over there. Clutch seemed to be a bit stiff too. I'm gonna see if I can free it up a bit. That seems like a nice height and stuff, so it does. <coughs> the good thing about this seat, it has these here. When you're driving it, when you turn it, it's 
these wheels here turn so it tries to tip the yard. But I'll stick a couple of bolts into this and then get back to you and uh, see about the brakes. Alright, so I just bolted that seat on there quickly. Uh, just having a wee quick look at the brakes here. I'll just show you here when you press down. Needs to be a lot of water coming out of it. So I don't know if you can see into that. There's a lot of water in there. I'm just going to blow it out. So some braking clutch fluid here, I'll just pour it in, see what happens if I can get the these up first You can see there, I cracked the top one off there, pumped it, just a wee bit of fluid come out, and then tightened it up and cracked the bottom one off there, and pumping it, and it's still not, the fluid should be gushing out of there, but it's not. So that there must be done that, yeah, what would you call that, brake master cylinder or something. So I'll just move on to something else, and brakes. If I even could get the handbrake working for now, at least it's something. That doesn't seem to be doing much. Alright, that's going to do it for this one, uh, just a wee quick one on buying this dumper, I didn't spend a whole lot of money on it, uh, I just tried all the different grease fittings there, one or two grease fittings took grease but the rest of them didn't, so I'm just going to order a new cable for this, uh, if you want me to do another video on fitting the cable and Maybe changing the engine oil and stuff, that's all I really want to do to this. 
Yeah, it's only to move soil down the back of my property and move stones and stuff. Just want to go to dig out the footings for the house. So once the good weather or once it dries out a bit, uh, you'll see this in future videos. I'm sort of held up with the weather at the minute. I'm down to get stuck into building this house. So uh, I'll just bolt that we seat on there. This here, the whole uh, metal has rotted through on the bottom. It's just the, the foam really. So I'll just put that on it. If anyone wants to sit there, and then I'll grind them off. And we'll just throw a, a cushion on there. Yeah, but I'll take it for a wee test drive and see what it's like with this new seat on it. See if it's any more comfortable than, than this thing. So, if you've made it at the end of the video, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up for me. Yeah, there's one of the more videos coming up on building this house in the near future. So, thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.